If you know about scripting in Postman, you know the normal execution order of a collection run is waterfall order unless you control your workflow. For example, under the test tab, you can describe a conditional statement and then redirect the next request to a request within the collection. In this example, the request is called add item. That's this one here. So if this conditional statement is true in a collection run, Postman will set the next request to be called to be add item. Let's comment this out and look at another way to control our workflow under the pre-request script. So this code here once again describes a conditional statement and this time uses pm.execution.skip request. If this conditional statement resolves as true, then Postman will skip the current request. And once this method executes, all remaining code in the pre-request script will be, it'll stop right here, which means this code doesn't execute, the main request doesn't execute, and any tests that you've written will not execute. So let's hit send and you can see nothing happens. Postman does not send that request. Well, let's see why. The conditional statement defines a collection variable called get token. So let's look under our collection variables and we see token here, but nothing has been defined. So let's go ahead and define a token, save our changes. And when we go back to our request, run it again. So this time the conditional statement is false. So pm.execution.skipRequest will not run and everything along the way will run as well. And this works in collection runs as well. So let's go back to our uh, collection and run our collection. We're using the collection runner to do this in this example. And let's run our execution order example. And you can see that Postman will run the collection as we've described it to or in sequential waterfall order. Let's delete our token once again to trigger that conditional statement. And now when we run it again, you can see get shopping cart is the one that we previously thought might skip, but it ran, all the tests ran. Let's run it again now without a token. And when we see that request, you can see that Postman has skipped that request sending the request as well as not running the tests. So two different ways to control your workflow in Postman when you're running collections. One is with Postman set next request. And one is in the pre-request script using skip request. Mm -hmm.